Welcome to Sneedville, a city, they say, that was plastic and fake. Bus, bus. And they liked it that way. No nature, no flowers, no one seemed to mind. But a secret was waiting for someone to find. Oh, hi, Ted. Do you want to see something cool? Whoa, what are those? Trees. They used to grow all around here. <laughs> what I want more than anything is to see a real living tree. From the creators of Despicable Me. I've got to leave here before I go. Whoa. No one ever leaves town. See what he's up to. Comes the world of Dr. Seuss as you've never seen it before. Okay. <laughs> so, you want to know what happened to the trees? Well, I didn't think anyone still cared. Well, that's me, the guy who still cares. It all started a long time ago when I accidentally summoned a mystical creature as old as time itself. The Lorax. Hey! Whoa. Whoa. Did you chop down this tree? <gasps> What's that? Hey! I think he did it. Huh? Mm. You need to change the way things are. I won't let you down. Ah! Mm. Whoa. You got a beautiful town here, Ted. I can't think of any reason you'd ever want to go outside of town again. Uh -huh. Unless someone like you cares a whole awful lot, nothing is going to get better. It's not. I think the Lorax meant for you to have this. The last seed. It's not about what it is. It's about what it can become. Bring it on, Teddy! I don't know, we have a little time. Dr. Seuss's The Lorax. So who invited the giant furry peanut? I'll go right up your nose! Whoa! You wouldn't hit a woman. <laughs> That's a woman? 